Well, moving on to Crime Beat now, the intersection of Wells Avenue and 6th Street in Reno was closed for several hours this morning after police found a body there. A 66-year-old man had been killed in a hit-and-run crash. Now, police later arrested the 26-year-old suspect after he tried to get his windshield replaced. Jamie Hayes has more on the charges he faces. There was a southbound vehicle on Wells that struck the pedestrian who was crossing from the east to the west. Um, the vehicle that struck our pedestrian continued. Around 412 early Friday morning, police received multiple calls of a person down in the road at Wells and 6th. There they found a 66-year-old Reno resident dead in the roadway. We have several businesses um, and other resources that have video that we're looking at right now. A few hours later, an employee of a local glass shop called saying someone had arrived trying to get the windshield of his vehicle replaced. Reno police arrived and arrested 26-year-old Cruz Ochoa for hit and run causing death, as well as other charges. And beginning this year, that hit and run charge carries a steeper penalty. People were getting a lesser penalty for leaving. In last year's legislative session, lawmakers changed the hit and run causing death penalty to discourage people from fleeing the scene. What was happening is people that were intoxicated or uh, um, impaired by other means, um, they would take off, we would catch them, and the penalty for um, hit and run causing death wasn't as high as DUI causing death. Now that they match those penalties, the charge will be the same if the suspect had stayed on scene and was also intoxicated. The name of the victim in this crash is being withheld at this time. Covering Crime Beat, Jamie Hayes, 2 News.